Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to compose two functions. And basically when composing two functions, you know, we're gonna have two functions, let's say f of x and let's say g of x, okay? Now composing basically means we're going to, you know, plug one function into the other. So the, really the best way I think and the easiest way to understand this is just to go back to evaluating functions. When we first started learning about functions, we learned how to evaluate them. So, you know, for instance, we have a function f of x you know, f represents the name, and then inside the parentheses, x represents our input variable, uh, our input value. And then we have some sort of rule that is going to represent the function. And, you know, for instance, let's just do 2x minus 3 is our rule. So x is our input value, here is our rule. Now, when we um, change x, when we change x in our, for our input and in our notation, we're going to replace it with our rule and then we'll be able to find the output value. So our input value, here is our rule, and then once we evaluate it, that's going to be our, our output. So for instance, if we wanted to figure out, you know, f of 1. Now what we're going to do is replace our input variable here um, with the 1, and then we can evaluate that to get our output. So we plug in 1, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 equals negative 1. And you can think of functions, again, as like the input-output. We could write this as a, you know, a coordinate point here, 1 comma negative 1, where x is my input, negative, y, negative 1 is my output. And we can kind of continue this pattern, you know, kind of picking up any, any really numbers that we want. And we just kind of do the exact same thing. I don't know why I'm having a problem writing those down. That equals 1, so therefore this input output would be 2 comma 1. And basically what we realize is no matter what is, um, what we're going to place in here in the input, we're always going to plug that into our function. So no matter what number, but we don't just have to deal with numbers. We can start getting kind of creative and getting creative on things that maybe not make, maybe won't make as much sense. So for instance, you know, I could pick up f of triangle. Well, that would be 2 times triangle minus 3. Now, we can't really evaluate two, min 2 times triangle minus 3, so that would be our exact output. Or we could also do like expressions. For instance, f of negative x. That would be 2 times negative x minus 3, which that would simply reduce to negative 2x minus 3. So it really doesn't matter what exactly we want to plug in. Whatever we plug in for our input is what we're going to replace here. And we could even pick you know, a different variable. We could pick f of um, a. So that is 2 times a minus 3. We can also do, you know, expressions. Uh, x plus h. So that'd be 2 times x plus h minus 3. And we could obviously simplify that to 2x plus 2h minus 3. So you can see that the, you know, the kind of the limits here are endless here uh, of what we could plug into our function. So that brings us to our other point. f of, let's how about we plug in another function, f of h of x. Now we have no idea what h of x is, there's nothing written on the board here of h of x, but again, I would just follow the same steps. Okay, so where this gets, where this gets interesting is once we start identifying what is f of x and g of x. So let's stick with the f of x function is 2x minus 3. But now let's call g of x, let's actually give that a rule. Because up to this point, we were just saying f of x had a rule. g of x or h of x did not have a rule. Let's call g of x, um, let's give this another rule. Let's just call this um, x squared. So therefore, if now I have the function f of g of x, well now, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in g of x, 2 times g of x minus 3 like I did for h of x, but now I know what the rule is of g of x. So now I'm simply just going to do 2 times x squared minus 3. And that's basically composition. Now composition can also work the other way. We can also take f of x and plug it into g of x. So to do that, I'm going to take my f of x function and plug it into g of x. So therefore, it's basically going to be f of x squared yeah, that's it, f of x squared. So therefore, that's going to be 2x minus 3 squared. So that's really the basics of what we're doing. It's just like evaluating functions. You're plugging one function into the other. Uh, just so you know, another notation for that would be like f of g of x. We use that kind of open circle. And for this one, it looks something like this. So just, an, just another way that you guys can see uh, the notation for composition. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your basics for how to evaluate 
I'm sorry, how to compose two functions. Thanks.